Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add Gmail to the iPhone Mail app on this uh, iPhone 11 Pro running iOS 13. Now you can see here, if I try to open up the Mail app, uh, at the moment I have um, no account added to the Mail app. So in order to add um, Gmail uh, to the phone, I'm going to use uh, IMAP as the default settings. Uh, if you want to use a pub um, protocol to add an email account, you can do so as well. Uh, I'm going to do a, another video for the pub account. So in here, uh, what we need to do first, you can uh, simply tap directly on the mail app right here and then tap on Google. That is one way of doing it. Otherwise, you can go into settings and in settings, you can um, tap on add account. So in settings here, we tap on password and account. Then we tap on add account and here tap on Google. So it's the same thing. So tap on Google. Okay, so it says, do you want to use google.com to sign in? Now the reason this message come up is because I have add in a website and app password for Google account in here. So I add in already. That's why it pops up that message. Now you can um, add in a password. So if you tap on the plus icon, you can put in a website name, username and password, and the password will be saved to this account. So that later when you need to reuse the same username and password, you don't have to keep putting in the username and password. You can simply select uh, what is already saved from the list. Okay, so tap on add account, tap on Google, And then tap on continued. So we're just gonna wait for the page to load. Now it should be a lot faster than this. Uh, it could be something to do with my um, internet connections. So next we're going to print in um, the account username, email or phone. So because I have already saved it previously, I'm going to choose um, from the list and then tap on next. So we're just going to wait for it to go to the next page. Okay, we're going to need to print the account password. I'm going to choose the password that I have saved previously. And then tap on next. Okay, so in here, you have the options to choose to turn on mail, contacts, calendars, and notes. So you can choose whether to um, enable or disable any one of these features. Because we want to use Gmail, so we want to turn on mail and then tap on saved. So it's the account added, and then you can see it go directly to um, either the account page or the inbox page, depending on where you uh, set up the account. So at the moment, it shows if I launch um, e the mail app, it shows inbox has no mail. Um, just wait for a while for the email to sync down to your inbox. It may take some time. So if you go into settings, and then go down to um, password and account and then tap on Gmail you can see here the account has been added and if you tap on the account over here you can see there are some more you know, informations uh, you can change the description of the account and you can see the outgoing mail server so you can tap on that and then you can see some information in here as well And then this advanced section, so you can uh, change the draft mailbox, deleted mailbox, and archive uh, mailbox. And then there's some other uh, things that you can also change. So that is quite str um, straightforward. By default, uh, the protocol is uh, IMAP. So the account, the Gmail account has been added to your phone. And now we're just going to launch mail. And it still shows uh, nothing, so I say checking for mail down here. 
and then it's downloading as you can see uh, it will take some time um, for the uh, mailbox to sync to your phone so if you don't see anything coming in straight away just give it a few moments a minute or two and slowly all your emails will start to sync down to your iPhone mailbox and that's it so that's how you can add a um, Gmail uh, account using the IMAP protocol on your iPhone running iOS 13. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.